Hey, I'm going to be honest with you here. This is Adam Lavelle, the wrestling snob, talking about WWE SmackDown in Pittsburgh from April 19, 2024. We're up to the match that saw Carlito take on Escobar, Santos Escobar. And I like Escobar a lot. And Carlito used to have his place. I don't expect this video to get many views. I almost didn't talk about this match. I almost skipped it. And if I end up with like 10, 12 views the next time, I'll know better. What's the point of talking about something no one cares about? But um, Santos Escobar versus Carlito was an okay match. They had a little interview with um, Escobar's group asking him about attacking Dragon Lee. And he says, look, this is Rey Mysterio and LWA making crap up. I, if I attacked him, if my group attacked him... We would just admit it. We attacked him. We don't care. If we want to attack somebody, we'll attack him. But we didn't do it. And this is one of Mysterio's problems. He makes stuff up. He just, he has an agenda. And the match kicks off. Carlito's been wearing a t-shirt. I don't know why. Is he out of shape? I think he looks a little out of shape. Not necessarily. He doesn't have a big belly or anything like that. And I'm not going to be one of these guys who isn't currently an athlete that wants to criticize athletes like people were doing to Seamus. Then people bitch and cry about it. But there is a reasonable expectation to have from your professional athletes, whether you're one or not. You know, it doesn't matter. And Carlito, I just thought, looked bad here. Now, I'm not talking about his body. I don't care that much about his body. I'm talking about his work. His strikes were terrible. The little sliding drop kick he did to Escobar, it didn't even look like it touched him. Even his clotheslines looked soft. I'm not going to talk a lot about this match. Basically, Escobar kicked the bottom rope or kicked the middle rope as... Carlito was climbing back into the ring and hit him in the crotch, obviously, took advantage, hit his finisher, and pinned him. Of course, the ladies got involved. They had a little brawl against each other. That's what distracted the ref that allowed Escobar to kick the rope that hurt Carlito that led to the pin, that led to the win. Uh, Escobar wins a pretty average match that I'm not sure anybody really cared about. I, I think the LWO and... Um, Escobar's group, I always forget the name of it, Phantasma, something Phantasma. I, I believe we could be more invested in this stuff if they tweaked the story, if you will. It doesn't have to be bloodline level. I mean, there's only, there's only one main event. I get it. But whoever's working on this story, whoever's working on this angle, needs to do a little better job. It still wasn't embarrassing, wasn't bad, wasn't anything technically wrong with it. It's just not very intriguing or interesting. And that's a shame because I really like Escobar and the LWO are fine, but Carlito needs some work. He's, he's 45, 46 years old, so I get it, but he needs some work for sure.